Thank you for the introduction, Jane. Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Health is Wealth event by the Future Investment Initiative Institute. As you know, health has become a very prominent priority for our world. We witnessed this last year from the beginning of the COVID-19 pandemic. Its impact on our world was unprecedented with millions dying amongst catastrophic economic devastation. Health is one of the four main priorities of the FII Institute that carries great importance for us. It's in this reason that earlier this year, we developed our health strategy, which is linked directly to SDG3, and more specifically, infectious diseases. In this connection, our first paper called for the world to invest in a global vaccine to tackle TB. TB is a disease that kills one person every 20 seconds, which will cost the globe over $16 trillion by 2050 if it isn't eradicated. However, for us, just releasing a paper was not enough. In our research, we noticed that one of the reasons that COVID spread so fast was because of the lack of data. We then decided to develop a unique tool that captures both endemic and epidemic diseases. For example, our tool also reflects the readiness and the vulnerability of country systems in terms of medical staff, beds, and percentage of population with basic immunization. In this way, the data will inform health ministries worldwide about the gaps that need to be filled to tackle endemic and emerging epidemics. After several months of deliberation and working with like-minded partners, we arrived at the Global Infectious Disease Index. The index showcases dual impact of the endemic disease burden and epidemic disease threats across 204 countries and territories. The endemic component of the index showcases the burden from five global endemic diseases. I think we all know what they are by now. We have HIV, malaria, TB, low respiratory diseases and diarrheal diseases. Captured in near real time, the endemic component tracks up to 60 pathogens, which may pose a potential threat to the globe. The index provides an objective, quantitative and comparable measure for infectious diseases, thereby enhancing the situational awareness to effectively prepare, respond and mitigate global health threats. Now, ladies and gentlemen, as a Dane, I would like to take you to Denmark, where I would like to showcase you the level of endemic diseases and display that to you on our index. The number seven leading cause of death in Denmark is linked to low respiratory diseases, where last year 2,118 people died from pneumonia-related illnesses. As you can see from our overview, low respiratory infectious are marked as being high in Denmark. For the next example, I'd like to take you to a different country that's based on a completely different continent. I'd like to take you to Malawi. Now in Malawi, I'd like to show you some data about the endemic uh, disease, which is malaria. Here you can see that the number of medical, uh, medical and support staff is only 0.5. And this can give us an indication of the burden of dealing with malaria, which is quite high in the country. This will allow us to explore further how we can inform governments on, for example, the recruitment of medical staff that will eventually help reduce the burden of the disease. And finally, as something very unique to our platform, we have also included the following six rankings. Number of medical staff, number of hospital beds, health expenditure, population with basic immunization, population with basic access to water, population with basic access to sanitation. In closing, Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, due to the pressure on time, we'd like to invite you to join us at the FII fifth edition in October, where we'll be spending more time in showcasing our index, its findings, additional releases, and future scope that goes beyond the data. I wish you all a fruitful morning with promises to be a very exciting agenda. Thank you.